Hello and welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle, and today we're going to talk about self-defense myths. Now, a lot of you guys may be new to Student of the Gun and to my writing and my videos and so forth, so let me give you a quick background. For the last 20, 25 years, I've been involved in either law enforcement or professional security as a bodyguard uh, or in the United States Marine. I've been playing this personal defense protection shooting game for a long, long time now. And as the years go by, you hear myths and misunderstandings and misconceptions. And one of them that I feel I really need to address right now, especially since there are so many people out there that are first-time gun buyers or they're considering getting some type of a tool or a gun or what have you for personal defense. And th this myth that we want to talk about is, well, uh, I heard that there are these blank firing guns. And so what I was thinking of doing was getting just a blank gun to scare bad guys. Whew. All right, deep breath. Ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, if you need a firearm if you legitimately need a firearm to protect yourself from a deadly threat a blank firing gun is not going to do it now this right here in my hand if you can see it this looks like a big mean scary nasty pistol but it is actually a dedicated if you see the little orange plug there a dedicated blank firing gun now why would we use blank firing guns we use them for training we use them for demonstration purposes obviously people that make movies and TV and so forth uh, they use them for props but blank firing guns, the United States military uses a lot of blanks. Uh, some law enforcement agencies use them for training. But blank firing guns are for demonstrations and for training. They're not self-defense tools. If you think, Mr. and Mrs. America, that you can bluff your way around a dedicated bad guy, a guy who wants to make you dead, who wants to put your his fist right through the front of your face uh, if you think that you can bluff your way through that guy well, first of all you're wrong uh, and second of all you're betting on the fact that he's gonna a notice that it looks like a gun and b be scared enough to leave you alone okay that's a pretty wide bet and I wouldn't bet my life on a maybe or he'll probably be scared but here's one of the things that people don't think about, or, or an area that people don't think about when it comes to a blank firing gun. Well, the reason they buy a blank firing gun is because they don't feel that they have enough competency or confidence to actually carry a real firearm. Well, a, so what they will do is they will treat the blank gun, the blank firing gun, as if it is a can of mace or pepper spray or some other less than lethal non-lethal tool they won't treat it with the respect that a live genuine firearm requires and needs and because of that they think that this is now a magic wand to scare away all boogeymen that might come their way well here's the deal Sparky if you whip this thing out and start pointing it at people and you are not in jeopardy of deadly threat of if you're not in a deadly force situation if a reasonable person would assume that this thing in your hand is an actual firearm and you don't have justification to use an actual firearm you my friend could be charged with inducing panic aggravated menacing possibly aggravated assault or any of the new new fancy terrorist threat type uh, laws that are on the books. Okay, this is not a can of pepper spray. Okay, it looks like a gun. People who buy these don't treat them like real guns. They don't keep them concealed. They don't keep them locked up. They don't keep them hidden away. They just leave them out because they think, oh, well, it's not, it's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, so it's no big deal. It is a big deal because if someone sees this in your hands, Nervous Nelly sees that and she thinks, hey, that person has a real gun. So they call the very, very real police and they show up with their real guns. And so now you're in a position where you have a whole bunch of real guns pointed at you while you're explaining, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's just a blank gun. If you need a legitimate firearm, 
use and secure a firearm. If guns aren't for you, if you're like, ah, I could never carry a gun or I could never use a gun, fine, that's cool. But don't think that you can get away with just having this. I actually had one woman, um, in addition to the blanks, say, well, I have a BB pistol that I keep in my car and to point at people, I'm like, oh, oh my Lord, just, just stop yourself. If you're worried about a firearm, if you can't handle a firearm, then get something else. Get a very high quality can of pepper spray. Uh, get You spend the money, get a taser product. Uh, but you have to understand your limitations. If you are involved in a deadly threat, a legitimate someone is going to make you dead or you know maimed or crippled or what have you. Pepper spray and mace and tasers and fake guns and all that stuff are not there and not they're not there to stop them. Okay, the only thing that can stop a legitimately deadly threat is a lethal force tool, such as a firearm, a legitimate firearm. So if you get nothing from this, please, please, please stop your friends and neighbors before they go out and buy a blank gun just to scare the bad guys with. It's a terrible idea. So enough said. Uh, today's recommended reading is actually going to be a recommended viewing. Uh, if you haven't picked one up yet or if you haven't seen one, check out Armed Living, Concealed Carry in an Uncertain World. And all the material that we just talked about or some of the material we talked about is featured in there. Understanding the difference between deadly force and non-lethal force and understanding your responsibilities as a lawful citizen when it comes to using force against another person. So check that out. And until next time, this is your favorite professor, Paul Markle. And for all of your student of the gun needs, go to studentofthegun.com. Mm -hmm.